I'm a backend developer and I don't understand why I need to sign in to test my APIs. I write the APIs a lot and every time I need to test them, either I use Postman, Insomnia or any other tool. And the problem is I need to sign in to test my APIs. It's totally overkill to sign in and sync with their cloud. So this is the same story with the Postman also, which is now forcing me to sign in to test the APIs and sync my APIs with their cloud. I mean, till now, 90% of devs are still using Postman. So what are the other options? There are other good options like Thunder Client for testing APIs as a VS Code extension. And another VS Code extension like REST Client for testing your APIs. So you are writing code in the VS Code. And just right away, you can also test your APIs through these extensions. But they are not good with the UI interface because they are extensions. You, you cannot expect them to be feature rich. Same with the Insomnia, Insomnia tool which I was using till last month. Same issue, uh, if, I'm, if I want to test my APIs, I need to sync my APIs with their cloud, which I really don't like. So what I want, I want something which I can manage offline and can version control. So what now? Have you ever heard of Bruno? Bruno is actually a new tool in the market and it's really popular for testing the APIs. Now, why I'm asking about Bruno and why I'm talking about Because there is something which is totally different from the other uh, REST client or testing client. Let's see the Bruno versus Postman story. I mean, till now I love Postman, but not anymore. I don't even have a Postman client. I installed it to just show you the glimpse. Postman can no longer run completely offline, which you used to run completely offline. In fact, you are forced to log in into Postman and sync your APIs to their cloud services. And I mean, there is a workspace configurations where you can synchronize your APIs and all. There's a data and credentials leak from the Postman collections and those are not being managed properly. There is a lot of misconfigurations and data leaking. That's why let's come to Bruno. With Bruno, collections become first class citizen. They are co-located and the relative informations are easily version controlled. It's like a developer dream, a place where developers can clone the code repo. It's up and running, get it up and running and use Bruno to browse the examples and run the APIs. So this tool is Insomnia. I was using it. Everything was fine, but recently they also did same changes of the cloud, which I don't like. This is Postman. I used to love it. So I need to sign in to sync uh, my APIs to the cloud. And this is Postman. Now here comes the Bruno. Lightweight, fully offline, testing client for REST APIs. And why I, li I like it, look at the interface. I mean, the interface is kind of a similar, which we see with the Insomnia. Here you can just define your APIs, you can hit the API and you will get the response. So rest all the other things like managing the environment. Here you can manage the environment, like you can configure the new environment. You can list down all your APIs and group them. And this is also allowing you to manage the APIs locally. I mean, you can export the collections and you can manage that in the Git version control. So this is how you manage the collections. And here, let's see what all you can import, export. Even you can import the collections from the Postman. And uh, see what else we have. You can run the test collections. If you have run the test scripts also with your APIs, you can run them here. And setting up the Bruno and installing uh, is very easy. I mean, you just need to choose, okay, where you want to install. I'm running this currently on the Mac. So Bruno is growing. There are a couple of issues uh, in the Bruno. I mean, if you go to the GitHub, you will find the, the issues. But it is still growing. It's still improving. And it can be the king of the APIs. I mean, Postman was also something like this. But uh, not anymore. But the Bruno is something really useful tool for testing the APIs. And I'm using it day-to-day -to -day tasks.